you financial independence. My God, isn't that enough? Tony? You all right? Tony? You okay? No. And I won't ever be okay until you stop playing this insane game. Lucy, give it up before it's too late for both of us. We'll never be ready. Oh, we'll make it. We always do. Now, I must say, this time we cut it a little close. Gee, damn fool nonsense. Oh, Edward, you might pitch in instead of complaining. I have a half a mind to go to the club. You are not going anywhere. Now, we have a table full of telegrams for Sean and Tiffany over there, and I want you to sort them into three piles. His, hers, and theirs. What am I supposed to be, the post office? Compared to you, my dear, that organization is a model of efficiency. Uh, and after you've finished with the telegrams, I want you to check on the liquor and make sure that they've sent the right amount. I suppose you want me to catch the wedding bouquet at the same time, huh? Move! Well, we are off to the hospital. Hi, honey. Oh, Monica, dear, are you sure you won't be able to make the uh, wedding ceremony? Well, I don't really know. I have an angioplasty schedule, so there's no telling when I'm going to get back. I only have a few appointments, Mother, so I shouldn't be late. Oh, you'd better not be. Since Tiffany's parents can't attend, you are giving the bride away. <laughs> I hate to think of a quarter man giving anything to Sean Donnelly, as long as I'm not giving him my wife. It's not too late. I'll get it. Wedding Central. Not anymore, it's not. Oh, come on, Tiffany. This is not a time to get cold feet. Uh, I would say it's more like a cold heart. Look, I just uh, got home and I thought I should let you know as soon as possible. Well, uh, let me know what? The wedding is off. What? You're kidding. No. Oh, I have never been more serious in my life. Well, Tiffany, what happened? Well, let's just say I came to my senses. <laughs> you know, I think I need my head examined for staying with that man as long as I did. He's absolutely insufferable. Well, yeah, perhaps he is, but I mean, you, know, you, you just can't, I mean, everybody is expecting, just like that? Yes, just like that. Look, I'm uh, sorry, would you give my apologies to your family? Uh, we'll do it again sometime, uh, with, with a different groom. She didn't. She did. What, changed her plans? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that could be a wedding. She called it off. Yahoo! I don't believe it. Tiffany is not going to marry Sean? <laughs> easy come, easy go. If anybody wants me, I'll be at the club. Well, now, let's all remain calm. I'm certain it must be some cynical misunderstanding. Now, Alan, you run over to Tiffany's apartment and try to straighten this out. Are you serious? You want me to play Cupid for Sean Donnelly? Absolutely. Gracious me. The show must go on. Hello. Hey, could I have your autograph? Oh, I think what you think. You look about 20 years old. I can't believe it. Our little girl, she's growing up so fast. Pretty soon you'll leave home. Well, not until after the performance, probably. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. You look gorgeous. You've got a lot of dead, huh? Okay. Good job, Oh, I'm sorry, love. I've got a little hung up over at Sean's. Oh, you're not sick, are you? No, I'm sick, and I wouldn't have missed this for the world. <laughs> and you look absolutely yeah. great. Thank and you. Look okay. Cute. Okay. So pretty. Uh, okay, little cutie, it's time to get this show on the road. Okay, you can get ready to go. Bye. 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 What? I don't believe it. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. What did she say? Well, we are back. Uh, well, uh... Um, you don't want to end here. Oh, we'll talk about it. Coming up. Sure. What is going on? Ryan O'Neill. Ryan O'Neill. He's right on this point. Let's settle it. How can you even talk to somebody who's being unscrupulous? You know, you're only thinking about yourself right now. What is 
matter with the three of you? Can't you see I am just trying to be fair here? Oh, really? Well, when did you start, sugar? Is this the first time? I want to tell you something. I have had reason to be embarrassed about you in the past, but I have never been so ashamed of you as I am now. Using a two-year-old child as a pawn in a divorce settlement. Isn't there anything that you won't do? I am not using BJ Aunt Charlene. Did it ever occur to any of you, any of you at all, that I actually might just love that little girl? You know, you can say whatever you want about me. You can say whatever you want. But I was a very devoted mother, and I will be again. I played with BJ. I took care of her for hours, and I, I taught her things. And I, This fight is not just for me. It's also for BJ to protect her. For me? Did it ever occur to you that this fight might put Tony in his grave? Did it? Or is that what you want? No, no. Don't you don't think that. You don't, you don't think I could have such a horrible thought. I would never deliberately drive my husband to his death. No. Well, then why don't you prove it? Why don't you just drop all this and go on, go away? All right. All right, fine. You win. But you're making a big mistake. You, you can do whatever you want with me, Jane. That's just fun. We did it. You did it. Well, I didn't think anybody would get through to that girl. Oh, well. Everybody's got a vulnerable spot. Lucy's just, just harder to find than somebody. Well, you two, I have to go to the hospital. I will be back in time to pick you up for the wedding. You'll be okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Right. See you later, please. Take care. Don't worry mm -hmm. about it. It's fine. I think I'll, uh, I'll go up and check on you. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Fine. Are finally still off, Sean. No, let me tell you what. The light has come on and the truth has been revealed, and I think it stinks. No, honey, honey, will you just calm down and look at this oh, thing rationally? Ra oh, so you can talk me out of it? Not on your life. You know, our wedding is absolutely complete. I wouldn't marry you right now if you were the last man on earth. Just listen to I me, Evan, please. The door's pretty thin. Yeah. Oh, well, would you like to come in? I'll just you do a little recap for you, you know? This man is a creep. He is an absolute insensitive... He admits, I don't deserve this. I don't need all this grief. Well, damn it, Tiffany. Now, look, I, I... How many times do I have to tell you I was just trying to be amusing? Oh, at my expense? Everybody seems to be a comedian. All right, I, all right. I made a couple of bad jokes, but there's no reason to call off our wedding. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Anything I can do to help? Go away. You can tell my fiance ex fiance that she is overreacting. Oh, overreacting. Oh, taking that lamp and smash it over your head. That would have been overreacting. You can also tell her that she should get a grip on herself and stop worrying so much. Worry? I'm not worried. I'm not worried about anything. I don't have a care in the world. Sweetheart, I am footloose and fancy free one more time, so I don't have anything to worry about at all. You are making one big mistake. No, you made the mistake, funny boy. All right, all right. I was a little out of line, okay? A little out of line. You were out of line. You were out of good. You know what you said to me? You said horrible things to me, Sean. Oh, come on. I was joking. I, you were I, joking? <clears throat> That's supposed to make it better? No, it's supposed to mean that I, I, I didn't mean it, all right? Oh, you didn't mean it? I no. Think it did. I think it shows exactly what you think of me. I think that you think that I am a man-eater, that I trap my prey and then I devour them like you're that. you're a total idiot. Why don't we do something really different around here for a change and think about somebody else besides ourselves for a change. Maybe think about somebody like me. You know, I have stayed in this town where I can't look a soul in the face. I have stayed here for weeks because you wanted me here to be in your wedding. Calling this wedding off is, is ridiculous. Even for a legendary prima donna like yourself, you should be down on your hands and knees thanking God that you have found a man like Sean. Do you realize how many women would give their right arm to have what you have? Go ahead. Call it off. Cut your own throat, but don't expect anybody to feel sorry for you when you change your mind. You're right.
Okay, I'm stupid. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Ladies and gentlemen, 